This is Newswatch 8 Update, brought to you by Amco Transmissions. Good evening, I'm Steve Nichols. Coming up on our 11 o'clock report, Tampa and Hillsborough detectives may be wrapping up three murder investigations tonight. With the arrest of at least one man, two others are in custody. One of the victims was a USF co-ed whose body was found Thursday. An early morning fire took the life of a three-month-old baby in the town and country area today. A faulty space heater is blamed. And the State Department is preparing another white paper on Central America, citing the presence of Soviet MiG-21 bombers and long-range reconnaissance planes in Cuba. Now this. If your transmission ever falls apart, there's only one place you should go to put it back together. Ampco. Why go anywhere else? In sports, today was a day of rest for all but the best in the NBA. Tony Edwards will have highlights of the NBA's All-Star Game. And Rick Mellum says it may rain tomorrow on the Gasparilla Parade. Join us at 11 for News Watch 8. Watch us for live coverage of the Gasparilla Parade, Monday. This is News Watch 8 Update, brought to you by Cash and Carry. Good evening, I'm Steve Nichols. Tampa and Hillsborough detectives say robbery is the apparent motive for three recent murders. We'll tell you about the arrests they've made tonight on our 11 o'clock report. And we'll tell you about South Korean opposition leader Kim Dae-jung's latest run-in with security police in Seoul. Now this. Enjoy select quality beef from Cash and Carry. The flavor? Simply phenomenal. Join us at 11 for Sunday's news, weather, and sports information. News Watch 8. This is News Watch 8 Update, brought to you by Amco Transmission. Good evening, I'm Dennis Roper. That outbreak of red tide near Sarasota has been pushed northward by southerly winds. Beach goers along the Pinellas Sun Coast today reported eye and throat irritation, and fish kills have been reported at several Pinellas beaches. The first annual St. Petersburg Grand Prix is over. Promoters are still tallying the figures. Tonight, we'll tell you how they feel about bringing the race back next year. Now this. When you're saving lives, you can't let your transmission die. That's why many ambulance fleets go where it's better than fixed. It's Amco. Are jobs quietly disappearing in one part of North Tampa? We'll tell you about that and tell you why. We'll have that story plus Rick Mellum's forecast. It calls for some cool fall weather here in the Bay Area for a change. That coming up in Newswatch 8 11 and I want you to stay tuned after Newswatch 8 for all the latest in the Bucks and the race on Sports Extra. Jack Klugman is Quincy weekdays at 5. This is Newswatch 8 update brought to you by Cash and Carry. Good evening, I'm Dennis Roper. That outbreak of red tide off Sarasota has apparently spread north. Folks along Pinellas beaches today are reporting respiratory irritation, and at least one fish kill was sighted. The first annual St. Petersburg Grand Prix is over. We'll tell you how promoters feel about bringing it back next year, and we'll show you how jobs are quietly disappearing in North Tampa. Now this. At Cash and Carry, we're committed to fast, accurate service, properly bagged orders, and friendly carry-out service. No one serves you better than Cash and Carry. Join us at 11. Holiday shopping. Is it a boon or a bust? The story at 11. This is Newswatch 8 Update, brought to you by Cash and Carry. Good evening, I'm Bob Height. And I'm Irene Mayer. The administrator of NASA is in trouble for something he allegedly did while working for General Dynamics over four years ago. We'll have details. Heather McKenzie reports on a neighborhood hurting over Carol Wood's never-ending growing pains. Residents are taking the matter into their own hands. Blizzards brought an early winter to the Midwest, but Bob Barron says it's just beginning to feel like fall here at home. And in sports, Dick Crippen will be looking back at the Gators' FSU battle. Now this. Happy holidays from all of us at Cash and Carry. What's one of the hottest selling Christmas gifts this year? Look closely, it bears a familiar face. That, the sports and weather, tonight at 11 on the Night Watch on Channel 8. Join us. This is News Watch 8 Update, brought to you by your Florida and South Georgia Ford dealers. Good evening, I'm Irene Mayer. And I'm Bob Height. Coming up tonight at 11 on the Night Watch, winter has yet to arrive here, but it sure has up there. 
We'll get a briefing from Bob Barron on what's happening in the North and what's in store for us. And an update on the anniversary of the worst industrial accident in history. What, if anything, has been done for the victims? Now this. Ford cars and trucks are built with quality. Quality you can see, quality you can feel, and quality you can drive. At your Florida and South Georgia Ford dealer. Join us for the Night Watch at 11. How warmly should you dress in the morning? My forecast tonight. This is News Watch 8 Update. Brought to you by Cash and Carry. Good evening, I'm Barbara Callahan. And I'm Bob Height. Coming up tonight at 11 on the Night Watch, a doctor strike all through Florida. They were talking about it today in Tallahassee. We'll tell you what they decided. Suppose you called your fire department because your house was on fire and they never came. It happened in Hillsborough County last night. Air pollution is taking a chokehold on Tampa, and we have only ourselves to blame. Steve Cole reports. Now this. Sure, I'm an actress, but when I tell you how much money you can save at cash and carry week after week, that's not an act. That's a fact. A technique used to clear clogged arteries is now fixing faulty heart valves. Health Watch reporter Irene Mayer will explain how it works. And where's the Bay Area's newest boom town? Well, it's not just a town, it's a whole county. These are among the stories coming up tonight at 11 on the Night Watch. Tragedy strikes a local high school. That story at 11. Florida weather. It can change by the minute. So David Grant and the News Watch 8 weather team keep you up to the minute. I think we need to put a boat in the house. David Grant's 30 years of experience mean an accurate forecast. It's going to be a rough one along the beaches. We'll keep you updated. So you can make the most of your time. Breaking up. Jim, I think the worst is over. And that's time well spent. An explosion at a Bay Area gas station. A follow-up at 11.